BizQuick, your comment about this is encouraged. Okay, if you're one of the three people who watches the Abarth Chronicles or my parking OCD videos, you're probably familiar with this store and the car parked in this parking lot. I see the same black Fiat 500 here every single time and the person who's always parked in the same spot there's another 500 right there not Eborth. this person right here I always saw a black 500 but non Eborth. this person just got an Eborth. I talked about it in my last video and I left out one important detail is it a manual there's my car right there is it a manual let's look look like a creeper it's a manual right on parking OCD this person needs to learn how to have parking OCD like me same spot as always that's the one thing well I like multiple things about that car but that's definitely one of them the fact that the majority of these cars come in a manual I believe this car was available in the European market in 2008 America got it in 2012 manual America got it in 2012 and I believe the automatic wasn't available until 2017. When I was looking for this car, I searched within a 500 mile radius and I only saw one automatic out of like 20 results within a 500 mile radius. So when it comes to the Abarth, manual transmissions are the majority. So. You have to be a driver to want one of these cars. Driver's car, which I really like. Fact, there are no Ferraris available with the manual transmission. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone other than the three people who watch these videos are watching this. The last manual transmission Ferrari, as you could see, I'm just filming nothing in front of me nothing to read was 2010 was that the 458 with the manual no more manual Ferraris if if my channel takes off and I can afford a Ferrari I'm getting like a 355 or probably a 348 since everyone hates the 348 for some reason I, I want a Ferrari 348 <laughs> that sounds cool right about now but yeah if my channel takes off and I make more money on it. I'm gonna get a Ferrari 348. Only had a manual transmission option. I really like my Abarth because it's a budget Ferrari. But if my YouTube channel gets big, I'm going to buy an actual Ferrari. I want one of these, Ferrari 348. Only $68,000. I like watching videos about all kinds of cars. This is one of them. I like how in the comment section people are talking about how it's the worst Ferrari ever. I wish I had friends who had this car so I could try it out and talk about it in the YouTube comments about how it's the worst Ferrari ever. I would like to own the worst Ferrari ever. That sounds cool. I won't change or anything. I might wear a Hawaiian shirt. Maybe a gold chain, but I'm still going to answer comments and talk to you guys if I buy this car. It's a manual. You know what Fiat should have did? They should have put a gated shifter in their car, in the Abarth. That would have been sweet. I hope those aren't fingerprints on that plastic. I'm going to have to talk them down to 50000 just for that.